Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm doing another thrust test with my thrust measuring stand which has been supplied from Banggood.com. This time I'm going to test two 1300 4S batteries with the motors being the Cobra 2204s, the ESCs being the KISS 24 amp and the prop being the HQ5043 leaf prop. The only variable here will be the battery and first up we have the Luminaire which is considered one of the best in the business. It comes at a price though of $30 which doesn't include shipping either. The competitor is the Dynergy battery from Banggood.com. This one is just $21 and that is including shipping. The Dynergy battery weighs 145 grams and the Luminaire is 2 grams heavier at 147 grams. The Dynergy claims to have a discharge rate of 65C and the Luminaire quote 60C. Both batteries are fully charged to 16.82 volts and I will do two runs with each. So let's see which one is the best. Here is the first run with the Luminaire battery. We have a peak thrust of 954 grams, which quickly tails off to 945 grams. We have an amp draw of around 23.12 amps, 366.4 watts, and a voltage sag of just under 1 volt. Let's try a second run. We have a peak thrust of 926 grams, which is 28 grams less than the first run. The second run was done directly after the first, meaning that the strain on the motor could be the cause for this. The amp draw is higher at 24.97 amps with a voltage sag of 1 volt again. After the test with the Luminaire battery I let everything settle down for an hour or so to ensure that the motor was at room temperature to give the Dynergy battery a fair test. So let's give that battery a try. We have a peak thrust of 945 grams, which is exactly what the Luminaire battery settled down to on its first run. There is an amp draw of 24.87 amps, which is consistent with the Luminaire battery. We have a voltage sag of just slightly over 1 volt again. On to the second run and it's a similar result to the Luminaire battery with a peak thrust of 919 grams and an amp draw of 24.19 amps. There is a voltage sag of 1 volt again and 376 watts in total. So I think it's fair to say that the Luminaire battery did have the slightly better figures but, and this is a very big but, the figures are so minor that they are completely unnoticeable in the air and they are certainly not worth over $10 a pop more when we are talking such minor details which is why I have a big stash of the Dynergy batteries and just one of the Luminaire batteries. It doesn't stop there though because this test shows power but it doesn't show reliability and that is the other reason why I only have one of the Luminaire battery. I used to have three of them but two of them died with dead cells after only a few flights. This one seems to be surviving much longer however. So my recommendation here is the Dynergy battery. They are amazing for the price and I'd be very surprised if the extra $10 would make any difference to the lap time. So there you go, that is my thrust test of these two popular 1300 4 cell batteries. I will put links in the description of both of them if you wish to get some. I will also put links to the products that I use to make this thrust test stand. It is a very useful device. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.